You thought the war on terror was over. Well, it's not. The war continues on the new iPhone game, I Terrorists. Fantastic 3D rendered backgrounds and video based characters so real they'll make you question your own reality. Playing on hard or simply try and survive. <laughs> Just don't shoot the hostages and try your hardest not to die. Try it now for free or unlock the full game and experience the heart pounding action of I Terrorists. Bottom is coming at you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Dark of the Moon Human Alliance Autobot Skids. Now this version actually comes with Alita 1 and Tech Sergeant Epps. The original one came with, I believe, RC and Michaela. So they switched things up a little bit. And uh, honestly, I prefer to have a better painted version of Epps <laughs> than another Michaela figure. But one thing that's kind of interesting, and I'm actually kind of curious to see what they consider uh, Mech Tech, because... Uh, I don't think he comes with any mech tech weapons, unless you're counting Alita 1, which, <laughs> okay, sure. Flip around here on the side, you have the uh, various technical data, and it says Epps is used to monitoring younger soldiers. So it only makes sense that it would be assigned to train Autobot skids in the ways of war on Earth, given that both the human soldier and the Autobot warrior share passion for putting the hurt on Decepticons, it was inevitable. They would become friends and battlefield partners. I really I really like the Human Alliance packaging on here. I like the nice embossed uh, Autobot logo there on the top. Flip around on the side and you see Epps here on the side with Megatron in the background. Then on the back you actually see the figure. <laughs> the human ally can uh, ride the motorcycle which uh, that's that's actually a little bit better of a motorcycle I suppose. Um, th they're not all that good. Uh, again he's a Chevy Beat concept that Epps can ride inside of and then he has deployable machine guns and you know he can ride on his arm and Skid still has a launching missile, so that's all fine and dandy, dandy and fine. Curious to kind of see what the, some of the biggest differences. Obviously, he's repainted to look more like how he's uh, supposed to look in the Dark of the Moon movie if he's actually in it. Mind you, uh, Michael Bay says that the twins, i.e. Skids and Mudflap, will not be in Transformers 3. Even both seeing that uh, there's a $25,000 reward if anybody sees these guys acting in Transformers 3. Except, uh, in case you didn't notice, the name of the movie isn't Transformers 3. That's just my theory. And again, another reason why I don't believe anything that uh, is said about these movies from anybody associated with the movies until I actually see the movie. But um, this should be a pretty quick and easy review because uh, I've already transformed this guy so I can skip that. But let's get this guy open and see what the biggest differences are between him in his previous version. Okay guys, so here we have the new Transformers Dark of the Moon Human Alliance Skids figure opened up and out of its packaging. And I have to say, in vehicle mode, I love this new paint deco. Absolutely gorgeous looking and very accurate to what we've actually seen in some of the, uh, the leaked pictures and such of the Skids vehicle from the movie itself. Now setting him off to the back just for now, we're going to focus on Tech Sergeant Epps and Alita 1 first. Uh, first of all, the one thing that you're going to notice is Epps is actually a completely new molded figure uh, than the previous Epps figure that we got. And uh, as you can see, there's a considerable amount of difference between the original figure and the new one. First thing that you're gonna notice, uh, other than the, the color and the fact that, you know, this guy's wearing a helmet and he's bald, uh, the new one is considerably smaller, which I actually kind of like because it gives a, uh, a much more bigger scale 
to the robots that these humans are standing next to and I like that and uh, as you can see I mean he's a good head or so shorter than the previous version and uh, I, I really like that uh, one, one thing that's kind of weird is his his face is kind or his whole head is kind of shiny whereas this one is kind of a dull color zooming in even more you can see uh, the new one has a really creepy stare like really bug eyed and that's really kind of creepy but at least and, and, as you can see at least this guy is a lot more proportioned than this one he doesn't have the ridiculous long legs that the previous version had now while they did make him smaller they also did and you know what actually well yeah he does have this uh kind of ab crunch joint here on the original one the uh, the new ones these new human alliance figures do not have that uh upper torso joint they still have the uh the swivel here for the head the uh rotation here at the uh, shoulder bit back and forth at the leg if you rotate it you can get in and out you can bend it at the knee and it can actually uh, rotate also at the knee but um, what they did do is they actually gave some wrist articulation I don't know if you really can see that but uh, his wrists now are articulated which is a much nicer feature to have instead of having them perpetually stuck like this where they look like they're driving or something which all the previous uh, Human Alliance figures had um, that, that just kind of looks goofy when you have it like this I love the fact that you know you can rotate them and it makes it better for him to, you know, do the steering wheel thing. But then you can rot rotate him back out in a more of a natural pose when they're just standing there just like that. And I really like that about this figure. And about the new Human Alliance figures just in general. Now the Alita 1 figure is just a purple repaint of the original RC figure. Nothing real different going on there. But I this is one that I actually really like. Uh, the, the color, you know, it's 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 whatever. I mean, it's, it's, R it's Alita 1. It's not RC. You have Alita 1, you have RC, and then you have Chromia, or the, uh, the Bike Sisters. But th this kind of, it's like, it's like they're, they're not in the dark of the moon. Uh, they were killed in Revenge of the Fallen. So this, this is kind of a pointless type of a, uh, accessory in my opinion. I really wish they would have packaged them with a, a, something different. I don't know, give them a mech tech weapon. I mean, you can't really use it on here because there's no mech tech parts or anything. But this, this just is kind of a blah to me. Although I do really like the mold for this figure. Transformation for her is actually really pretty simple you just kind of swivel the arms out separate this unpeg this a little bit rotate that all the way around just like that rotate that bit down rotate that down and uh no, here get that out of the way rotate her head up and around just kind of position that back and then you just rotate her arm um and you, i mean it's, it's a decent figure. It, it, it actually transforms fairly well, and it's a, a nice scale representation of Alita 1 uh, and, the, and the Bike Sisters just in general. I, I, I've always liked these, but, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's you know, whatever. It's, you either like them or you don't like them is, is how I kind of look at them. Plus, they're kind of hard to balance, at least Alita is. Uh, you kind of have to use her arm because this is her big, giant cannon arm, and if you leave it out to the side, she falls. So if you want to balancer you have to rotate it inward where it's like that um and knocks down absent oh that's actually really kind of neat he's got an autobot logo right on his sleeve that i didn't notice before um but overall i mean like i said i like the mold of this i just really don't think it's something that they needed to pack in with skids so it's a personal preference personal taste what you like i personally like it but think it's kind of redundant at this point in time. As for skids, like I said, I absolutely love the paint deco on this new figure. The overall black look with the green racing stripes all the way through, just a fantastic looking figure. I, I really love it. I love the fact that they got the Chevrolet logo down here in the actual name of the company. I think that's really cool. Flip it around here on the back and the license plate is a whole lot more kind of authentic to how a license plate really will look. SK33DS, so skids, as opposed to the initial version, it just straight up said skids. I love how they actually painted the Chevy logo here on the back, whereas this was just green molded. And then as you can see the sides. Now, while I, I still love the way that this looks, I think this is just an overall improvement of the figure just in general. Nothing else is really different. A few uh, kind of differences, I suppose. Um, you have some coloring inside the headlight that you don't have with this one, but again, that's just a minor nitpick, I suppose. Um, the, the kind of blue that's in here kind of gives off the, uh, the uh, halogen lights, I suppose, whereas this one is just kind of clear, which still does as well, but this looks like the lights are on, kind of, I, I suppose. 
but nothing else really all that different between the two figures. Just a really terrific, terrific looking repaint. Now in terms of the human alliance aspect, um, of course, you can open this up and you have the, uh, the whole inner cockpit here. You have two sides, so you can have two figures actually sit in here if you really wanted to. You can take uh, Mr. Epps here, rotate this down around, rotate that down and around. Straighten out his legs. You can sit him in there, and uh, he he is he is kind of, because he's smaller. Um, he he doesn't. And when you peg him all the way back, you can see he can't really reach the steering wheel. Um, that's kind of a drawback, I suppose, to the uh, the smaller human alliance figures. Plus, you can't get his arms really too close to grip the steering wheel. I'm trying to here. Um, but I mean, really, who who displays them like that? I mean, I don't, but you can do it if you really wanted to. And of course, the doors still open, just like the previous version. But uh, there he is in his uh, vehicle mode. Now, through the magic of video editing, here we have the Human Alliance Skids figure in his robot mode. Now, this is the actual official transformation for the figure, and I never really liked it. The biggest thing, I mean, everything looks perfectly fine, except he. In, in, if you watch the Revenge of the Fallen movie, he never had these big giant wing things uh, hanging above his head. His brother Mudflap was the one that had those. And I just always thought that that was really kind of stupid, and I, I never particularly liked it. But luckily enough, there's a slight alternate transformation that lets you get him looking a whole lot more screen accurate. Now granted, he still has this big giant backpack here, and there is actually a mod to make this a whole lot less big and bulky, which I'm gonna practice and I'm probably going to do it on my original figure. But to get to the wings, uh, really all you have to do is just kind of lift these arms up, separate this chest bit, and then take these arms and just angle these down, just so they're kind of hanging underneath here, then uh, get this all out of the way, rotate these all the way around so they're like this. Flop that back, take the arms and you can put that back up, do that on this side as well. Just like I said, rotate them around. Very simple. You don't have to cut anything, you don't have to modify anything really, it's just an alternate transformation that now you put the arms up, bring the chest piece back down, tuck that back into place, bring these all the way down, and now you have in what I honestly consider uh, a much more accurate screen look for Skids himself. Uh, kind of getting a balance here. He's never balanced very well. But this is how Skids really is more designed to look. Granted, you know, I mean, you got the ugly of the inside of the doors here, and but that's black, so it's not too bad. But uh, I, this is how I did it with my original figure, and it's exactly how I'm going to do it with my new figure. Now, as you see here in the robot mode, this is where you see some of the big differences. This guy's green is a whole lot more of a neon green, which ultimately I, I'm, I, I'm really kind of on the fence about, to be honest. Uh, I, I really kind of like the darker green color in this set than in this little bit right here. Uh, the black and everything, I absolutely love. But like with the legs, especially like this bit right here, these little bits, uh, I'm, I'm honestly thinking about trying to figure out how to swap these off of this figure and put them on this figure himself. I, I just think it looks a little bit better. The darker green, um, he does have more kind of a light gray plastic here you see in his hands and in the uh, feet area. Whereas this one has, you know, much more darker gray in the hands and the chest and you see that same on the chest there and he's kind of got a little bit more of a metallic uh, or molded gray plastic here uh, where he's got the neon up in the upper part there uh, it's not bad uh, it, it, this is really actually kind of growing on me and depending on if he really is neon color in the new dark of the moon movie it's really going to kind of make up my mind whether or not I swap out parts or not now the new guy still maintains all the level of awesomeness that the other one had just some of the actual mold plastic is it, it's a little it, it throws me off a little bit but again it's it, because I haven't seen him in robot mode in the actual movie I don't know if this green is accurate to him so it's a little bit of a double-edged sword I, I like it but I don't necessarily like it just gotta wait and see now his head is on this little rotation so you can rotate left right and he still has a little gimmick where you push this down and his mouth which is really kind of cool rotates at the uh, shoulder here sort of moves in and out not much very limited you have to actually get it uh, at this joint up here but you can kind of do it and then it gets stuck up there so you have to really kind of angle it down 
uh, rotates at the upper part of the bicep area, bends at the elbow. I still really don't care for the fact that when you have the elbow bent like this, his hands are like stuck out like this. Uh, there's no rotation at the wrist, but it's not as bad as, say, the Bumblebee figure, which that one really annoyed me for some reason. Um, doesn't uh, He rotates just a little bit here at the waist, back and forth at the hip, in and out, two joints at the knee, and then you get some uh, kind of pivot here at the foot, but it only really kind of goes down, but then it also rotates, so you could get some really kind of wide, wide poses if you really so desired now i've always liked the the twins in the movie so this was naturally going to be a buy for me um I, I wanted to buy it at retail i didn't want to pay extra you know ebay prices or big bad toy store prices for it uh just because of the paint job but i do like the accuracy now of how he's uh, supposed to look in the dark of the moon movie i think it's really cool looking the human alliance gimmick still does work you do have the uh, little flap right here you can fold out the little cannon and then he's got little pegs down deep down in there. I put the arms up, and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to reach the pegs. Um, but he sits a whole lot lower because he's a shorter figure. So uh, that's him standing. You can kind of see it. He's standing on the platform inside there. Um, but he really doesn't. Uh, he, he can't see over his uh, big giant Gatling gun too terribly well. Uh, now you can take this little cannon, flip this around. Flip the seat up, of course put this in front, fold this little bit back, and uh, you can have him sit on here. The peg still works, if I can get it in there, there we go. And uh, again, he can't really bring his arms in to hold anything, and then you take Skid's <laughs> missile, put it in there, and you almost uh, kind of make an inappropriate joke here, um, which I'm not going to do. But uh, there's the missile, and of course, it fires. So you still have the, you know, you still have the human gimmick in here, and you also can sit on this side, um, taking that off of there, fold that down, fold that down, rotate that out. He also has the uh, little pegs here on the hand, which is kind of strange, because um, now he's now he's holding them. Help me! That's kind of strange, but. The, the, the Human Alliance gimmick is still there, obviously. That's not going to go away. They're Human Alliance figures, so you have to have them interacting with their human counterparts. And uh, Skids does that. Now, in general, I absolutely love this set. The Skids figure I've always really liked. The new paint deco with the black primarily as his uh, color, I think looks wonderful. Uh, I'm a little bit iffy on the neon green look. But again, I have another Skids figure that I can part swap out with if it comes to it. The Epps figure is a huge improvement over the previously released one. I mean, the other one just sucked. The biggest problem that I see with this set is at $30, is it really worth it? Now, it depends on the person. Me, I think it is because I like having the accuracy of the new paint scheme. A lot of people will probably be just as happy with the original version and pass on this guy. So it's all just a matter of personal preference. Me, I personally do recommend picking this figure up. If not now, definitely when he goes on clearance in a couple months. So until next time, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomous, and I will talk to you later.